Well, hello. I am uh, coming to you from the glorious Pittsfield, downtown Pittsfield, in uh, Massachusetts, the Berkshires, or we like to call the Berserkshires, because the weather can be quite crazy. Uh, it's supposed to be, it's actually very nice right now. Sometimes when I've been up here, it can be snowing or hailing or sleeting, and then can be sunny the same day, hot and cold. Uh, I'm doing a show up here with Alan Green, Alan H. Green. Again, we did a show in uh, Palm Springs uh, in May. It's now September 2nd, and I thought I would do a little video. It's interesting, you know, uh, I've been up here to do work at Jacob's Pillow, which is a, a dance festival. Uh, Tanglewood is up here. Uh, Kripalu, I think, is a yoga uh, space. Um, but the I'm at the Barrington Stages, Barrington Theater, I was the music director for their musical theater conservatory about five years ago, and um, I'm now back doing a cabaret series with Alan. And Pittsfield's interesting because it's sort of a mix of like this beautiful artistic area, but at the same time, it's also like very um, industrial, and sort of like various different uh, pockets, I guess, of culture and some areas that are run down. Anyway, that wasn't the reason for this video. The reason for the video is I uh, did the show last night with Alan, went very well, even another show tonight. And um, <clears throat> the night before, Jason Robert Brown was here. And you probably know Jason Robert Brown from uh, his musical Parade. Uh, he did Last Five Years, Songs for New World, 13, with the, the young, uh, young performers, uh, Bridges of Madison County. Anyway, he did a cabaret where it was just him and a friend on violin, really cool violin player. But he uh, brought up new songs and pitched them. And it, as a writer, it was so incredibly uh, <clears throat> informative to watch him pitch a song, explain, okay, what the character's going through, why he wrote the song, what the character's doing, all that jazz. But the thing that kind of was revelatory for me was I've been dealing with this idea of how to have your own voice and how to be original I use air quotes for original, uh, because we know that nothing is really new under the sun. Everything's sort of been done. And uh, lately, I've been dealing with this idea of tweaking, something that <clears throat> came out to me, tweak an idea, just tweak it. So take a genre, take the 12 bar blues, take a ballad, take a, a genre of a song that we know, something we heard, and tweak it a little bit. And... I was thinking about that, watching Jason Robert Brown perform. I was sitting, you know, 10 feet away from him, watching, his hands are incredible, uh, play the piano. And I thought, it's not so much we have to reinvent the wheel, and that's something that I find myself struggling with or in uh, opposition of, I can't do that because it's been done. I can't write that, that's been written. I can't do that chord change or that melodic phrase or that lyric because that's been done. But what watching him, uh, he does so successfully is I realize he has his style, he has the way he plays the piano, which certainly informs his composition, but he is tweaking or, or taking the style, the genre, the, the familiar, what is familiar to our ears, and just reworking it just ever so slightly, or a lot in his case, but he's still working within the parameters of expectations of style. I don't know, it's something I'm still, I'm starting to formulate my thoughts with you, but I found that very, very interesting that we're doing, of course, now the... See, I told you it's a... The pressure we have to create, the pressure we have to create and to come up with something new uh, can be overwhelming, right? A blank, blank piece of paper can be terrifying because where do you start? But someone brought this idea to me and it seems so obvious I you know smack my uh, forehead for it uh, a duh moment a aha moment which is just being able to to do what we know or what we've read what we've written what we I mean what we what we see before us and just tweak it ever so slightly give it your your slight different uh, take on it which makes can make things a little bit easier anyway I loved Jason Robert Brown's uh, show. I loved the way he talked about it, the way he was, he did a song that he cut and he talked about why the song was cut, which as another writer, I was like, oh my God, this is gold because not that, I mean, the song was great. It just didn't fit the moment in that show, but it was about 
understanding the process that he, like the rest of us, go through. Uh, and he's way up there, you know, Tony winning, amazing performer, a writer and a composer performer. And, uh, and he has the same questions and the same processes that I think a lot of us go through. So I really, I really appreciate that. Anyway, if you get up to Barrington, it is beautiful. This area, Pittsfield, Western Massachusetts, right across from Albany in New York. Uh, and I will, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be sharing more with you very soon. Um, I've been developing uh, <clears throat> a new show. And, and one of the things I wanna say is I, I sometimes wait to share because I never know um, where things are gonna go in development, if I have other projects come up, if I have other distractions, as often I do. Distractions, I mean jobs. If a job comes up, I, you know, oftentimes that is, that, that does take precedent. But I've been fortunate this summer with some new work uh, that I'm writing and I'm now pitching it to development. So I will be sharing more about that very soon because I'm now making the demos and sending to actors and working with people. So um, all things are in process, you know? All right, have a great weekend. Happy Labor Day. Uh, much love to everyone. Bye.